But yeah, good place to come and find body banks. Nice. Because, you know, it's normal to pick up a body bag with a corpse in it and just stick it in your pocket. I mean, everybody does that, right? Am I right? Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on the Purge. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to go do some purging. That's what we're going to do. A um, few things, though. Uh, I've gotten some great comments from you guys. Uh, one of you said that I could use just the normal lanterns for lighting in the garden, and I don't even need to do the power thing. Uh, so we'll try that out, um, but this is what I have set up. I still had problems getting a block um, to, to be stable, you know, coming this far out, even with the base... You know, right over here where the base of the main tower, you know, closer to the base of the main tower. So there's just some weird SI going on up here. But if we can get the lantern thing to work, then that's a non-issue. Um, so right now I have, uh, I the I, I harvested the garden once and I kind of repositioned some stuff and now they're growing again. And these yuccas have a f about an hour, almost an hour and a half, a little less than an hour and a half before they'll be mature. Um, and then I'm going to probably keep converting the yucca to seed and maybe make... The majority of this garden nothing but yucca so we can really have a good supply of yucca juice for water um, and then you know we can always change that configuration up later too uh, let's see i now have the walkman um uh, volume two finished i believe it is uh, which gives us the yeah i have volume two finished uh, right here which gives us the 10 percent additional run speed and if I turn my Walkman on, um, you can see down in the lower right-hand corner that it's got that little tennis shoe icon. Um, so now I have that. And now I can run 10% faster. I'll be honest with you, though, man. I, I went out on the street and tested that. Turn that down a little bit. And I couldn't really tell a difference. But I, I have to trust that it is making me go 10% faster. Uh, so we need to keep that on um, pretty much all the time now uh, for that extra buff. And then, of course, we'll get the other buffs, too, as we continue to do cassettes which by the way i have downbeat beat down which i have in my normal rebirth and so that's going to go towards which one is that going to go towards uh that one goes towards volume one cool okay and let's let's listen to it god it's not there it goes <laughs> it took forever to select it yeah that's a good one I, I like all of these tunes. They're, I mean, I know I can put like, you know, Spotify on or something in the background and listen to music, but it's just kind of neat to have it in the game and especially, you know, the buffs that it gives us. Uh, okay, let's see. I have made, <clears throat> I've been spending a lot of time mining and I've made a total of 742 AP ammo because remember I have 90 in the weapon itself. Uh, so we have a decent amount of ammo, certainly enough to go purging, but I don't want to blow all that on a horde. Um, and so, yeah, we got that done. Uh, we should now be able to do physician intelligence, finally. If we look at genetics, uh, I am now level two. Uh, in fact, a little ways into level two. So let's read that. And now we have much more effective healing, including instant heals from sprains with uh, uh, splints and casts. So that is a nice one to get. Now, you guys mentioned to me in the comments that I should um, be... Yeah, here we go. So that that's what we get right there. Critical injuries heal 50% faster. Medical uh, heals 25% more health over time. And splints and casts cure sprains instantly. That's almost the best one out of those. Well, it's all really good, actually. Um, I was suggested, actually, in my normal Rebirth series, not this one, that I should be taking my genetic... Uh, blueprints and exchanging them for injections. I'm aware of that. Um, but, you know, kind of been wanting to save those to make the DNA mods. But the more I think about it, the more I, I might be further ahead, especially if I'm getting really close uh, to the next level um, to, to use those, and especially for charisma. In fact, you know what? Let's look at that. Charisma is the one thing I would definitely... 
use those for because um, charisma is hard to come by in the perch. You really only get them from airdrops. And, you know, if you guys have seen me try to get airdrops in this series, you know I can't just simply walk up to them and pull the shit out <laughs> and get the loot. It is a fight to the death. Okay, I only have 17 of these. I don't know how many we can exchange. Let's just take those with us and we'll go look at that. Um, and, you know, I have Charismatic Nature book, but I can't do anything with it till I hit level two. So that's just been kind of, we're you know, we've been sitting on that. Oh, actually, can I exchange these for other types or do they have to be their own? You know what? Let's just take them all with us and we'll go look at that. Because I haven't, I know I can do that, but I haven't looked, looked at it yet. You know, not closely. Uh, all right. I think we're ready to go do some purging. Let's do it. We're going to get out there and get some purging done. I'm still looking for a tabletop, another tabletop stove. Um, but since, you know, we have the yucca solution now, it's not as urgent as it was before. So I think we're going to see if we can just come across that table stop, you know, that second tabletop stove naturally. I po poked my head. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was going to show you guys this, too. Uh, do I have my wrench with me? Yes, I do. Or not my wrench, but my ratchet. Guess what I found? I was just over here cutting some wood, and I woke up some of the Zeeks in this POI. And look what's in here. A blueprint station. So... Let's grab it. And what do we need to... Oh, that's not... Wait a minute. That's not even a repairable. That's just a straight up... Oh, nice. Okay, cool. So we now have... I guess it's a research table. Very cool. That's the first time I've ever seen one of those in either one of my playthroughs. So I'm going to say that's probably a pretty rare item. And um, you know what? While we're here, let's just finish purging this place. I, I didn't, you know, I just went as far as, as the garage. There was also a a working stiff box up there that had, you know, like the usual cement and that stuff in it. All right. So let's head down through here. This is the mortician's house. So we're, you know, we're obviously not going the normal path. I've had several comments from you guys telling me, that I can get small engines from washing machines, but I don't think so, guys. I think you can get small motors. See, I just got two small motors, but that's different. That's not an engine. That's a motor. It's like electric motor, right? Um, now, if you are, if you are in fact saying you can also get small engines in washing machines, then that's cool. But I have not seen that happen yet. That doesn't mean it won't. I just haven't seen it happen yet. I also made the steel axe, as you can see there. Uh, I've actually been able to make that for some time, but I just, you know, forgot to, to do it. And let's pick up, uh, let's pick up that lantern, and we'll try that on the garden when we when we get back there. So I guess one question I have is, if I pick it up and then put it back down again, does it still light up? Because if you do that with, yeah, see, how's that going to help me, guys? It doesn't light up, and, and there's no option to turn it on when I click on it. So I don't see how that's going to help me in a garden. Um, it wouldn't make sense to me to run power to this because this doesn't use electrical power. Can I right click it with gasoline and put fuel in it? I doubt it, but let's try it. That way we can say we tried it. Nope, doesn't do anything. Okay, so explain to me. You who left that comment about using lanterns, how the fuck <laughs> that's going to do me any good when I can't light it up? I'm missing something, obviously. So enlighten me, please. Uh, we'll hang on to that and we'll see uh, how that's supposed to actually work. Um, okay. So let's see. We went into here. Uh, why don't we actually just do the place the normal way, which for this place, I believe we have to start by climbing up the lattice over here. <laughs> Maybe it's on this side. Oh. Uh, this is the... Oh, yeah, right here. Yeah, this is the mortician's house. We went all the way around the house. Let's see if there's another propane tank in here. Nope, but we do need that stuff, too, for... For activated charcoal. It's easy enough to make, but we'll grab it. All right, now there's usually going to be some Zeeks over that way. We have 27 
bad bats to kill. Ooh, look, there's some air conditioners and cement. Okay, we'll be taking that stuff. Ooh, yeah, that's a bad bat if I've ever seen one. That's a big bad bat. Yeah, you decide to fall down for me. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, God, I love armor piercing ammo. It is awesome. Uh, Ramsey told me, too, in the comments, he said, you know, to try out the high-powered ammo because in Rebirth, um, it increases a high... Uh, it has a higher chance of dismemberment, which can then trigger Rampage. Um... So we should, you know, at some point I want to give that a try too. Because in my opinion, high-powered ammo, ammo is damn near worthless in vanilla. And the reason for that is because by the time you can really make it and afford it, you're fighting armored zombies and the armor piercing is just going to be way more effective. But, you know, again, that's for vanilla. This is rebirth. There, we got a radiator. Brass has been the bane of my existence. Uh, it's not that difficult for me to go, you know, mine up gunpowder, product, you know, stuff for gunpowder and lead for bullets. But, man, it's just the brass. It's such a pain in the ass. Um. All right. So I, we got to, yeah, we got to come down here and go through there. Let's continue to pick up um, cement. Oh, I didn't point this out to you, but if you guys noticed, I, I did start to uh, build increase the thickness of the blocks around the base and i will continue to work on that as i get you know resources and um one of you guys suggested to also um oh god i can't remember what you said to, to do um it'll if it comes to me later i'll i'll mention it but um i i can i can make the mo um sorry the alarm <clears throat> and I can make trip wires. So we could potentially set up a motion sensor, or, or sorry, an alarm system. I'd prefer to use motion sensors, though, but... Oh, God. Holy shit, man. Those were some tough Zeeks. You've unlocked armor tier three outfits. Okay, cool. That, uh, that Zombo in the ponytail. Oh my God, she was tough. The doctor's reasonably tough too. Uh, there's some brass for us. That's good. There is something in here. Actually, it almost looks like, it looks like a weapons bag. How do we get to that? From around here, maybe? Yeah, I think we go around this way. Look at that. Two medium-grade barrel parts. Take it. Nick, where are you at? Here, come back here. I don't know where this other zom is. Okay, um, doo -doo. let's grab that. Oh, yeah, let's grab this light bulb. We can use that for the garden. I'm kind of bummed that the lantern doesn't seem to work. Maybe the guy that said that was trolling me. I don't know. But I, if it, if there is a way to make it work, I'm, I certainly would like to know. But it, I don't see how if you can't, or, or does it just work even if it's not lit up? Hmm, I don't know. I guess we could maybe try that. Seems a little cheesy, McSqueezy, but. All right, we've got janitor, a feral janitor. It looks like a feral cop. So, you know, I really wish that we could use molotovs and grenades, but, you know, we don't want to burn the house down. At least not until we're ready to burn the house down. So why don't we do this? shelf good there's another charisma we'll go check that out at the the trader once we're done here good. 
Yeah, if if the lantern works without it being lit up, I'm not going to do that because that's that's too much cheese for me. Kind of, and it for me, it kind of takes away from the fun of the way Ramsey set things up. I want if if we need light, I want actual light. You know what I'm saying? That's just me though. All right. I think there's going to be some Zeke's down there. What about a candle? Hmm. I wonder if that would work. Same thing, though. If I set this back down, is it still going to be lit? I don't know where that zone is, but let's close that door. Uh, let's try this. Yeah, it's still lit. Okay. Okay. It, it seemed to me like, you know, from watching Ramsey's video that you're supposed to have electrical lighting. But, I mean, we can certainly try this and just to see. Okay, here's another lantern. But here again, if I put it back down now, is it going to be lit? No, it's not. Okay. So we either need to find a way to light these things or I'm not using them for the garden, even if they do work. All right. Oh, I was going to mention something else, too. Um, oh, we got a buffer. Shit. Okay, we got to kill the buffer first. Sounds like we also have a kamikaze. All right. Um, yeah, we, we got to find, we got to find the buffer. So I tell you what, we're going to go, we're going to get back outside where we can move around a bit. Why can't I get up on this ladder? Oh shit. Dude, what the hell? Oh, that's what, <laughs> that's what's burning me up. Okay. Okay. This specifically. Okay. Um, all right. I feel like we're in danger here. We need to get the fuck out of here quick. So let's just cut away out. I need to get out where I can move around because right now we'll get pinned. And I don't want to waste bullets on buffed zombies. We got to kill the buffer first. Right, come on, stamina. Oh, shit. Well, I don't have much... Ugh, fuck me, man. Really? God damn it. <sighs> yeah, I forgot that I was uh, not able to quickly get outside. That was a fatal mistake. Fatal mistake on my part. Um... Alright, let's do spawn near my backpack. Where, where are we? Okay, we're over there. All right. Now, apparently I can make a mod that... I don't remember what it's called. Is it a respawn? Uh, death? There, there's some sort, sort of mod I can craft that'll take me right back to my backpack. Teleport to backpack. And apparently I can just make it out of nothing. <laughs> um, The thing is, though... Hmm. Well, let's just try and see what happens. You agree. Uh, by accepting, you agree to be teleported to your backpack, usually the place where you last died. Yeah. Well, that... Di <laughs> that doesn't help. Holy shit. Now I'm even worse off than I was before I did it. Oh, God. Well, oh, actually, no, I'm not. I have my stuff. Okay, I just realized that I have my stuff. But I also have a broken leg now, too. Ah, fuck. Okay, so we need to make a splint to fix that and the sprain. And we're infected. Uh, but I do have... Um, 
What you call it? Here. I've got uh, herbal antibiotics back at the base. Show me your inventory. And we'll just put a couple more things in you. So you move just a little faster, but I can't sprint. Oh, actually, I have this. Okay. Yeah, that was bad, man. I And my fault. 100% my fault for not making sure I had a better escape route. The first thing I should have done when we dropped down into the place is made it a way to get back out. And I didn't. And I paid for it. And I'm okay with that. Oh, what? Oh, I bet that was the kamikaze that did that. Shit. Okay. Well, the house is going to burn down now, and it's not my fault. <laughs> Let's go back and get our ailments fixed up, and then I don't know what we'll do. I mean, we can still... We can and we will still purge the place. Because I don't think that the fire does a whole lot of damage to the zombies. Not a significant amount anyway, so there are, especially considering how tough they are, they're probably all still going to be there. But we got to get ourselves fixed up first. All right, let's see. We need to take one of you. That takes care of infection. We need you. That insta-healed... Oh, that insta-healed our sprain and our break. Even better. Oh my god. I thought it just I thought it just did that for sprains. Um Splints and casts cure sprains instantly. Um Of course that's that's a vanilla thing though. That's not that's not a Ramsey mod thing. That's just the way vanilla works. I I think, I'm pretty sure. Interesting. Okay. Um let's make some bullet casings with the brass that we do have. And then that will have to take and scrap. Let's make some concrete mix. And Nick, let's get your inventory as well. Oh, speaking of inventory and all of that, I did a poll uh, both on uh, for my YouTube members and also in my Discord because I had I had a couple of different comments um, asking not to do as much inventory management on camera, basically. And so I did uh, so I did a poll and. It was almost unanimous that people said, "Don't change anything. Just keep doing the way, doing it the way you're doing it." So, you you guys have spoken, and that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I and I try not to do excessive inventory management. I mean, I don't show you every single thing, but you know, part of what makes it interesting, I think, for some people is is just the thought process. You know, how I'm prioritizing things, what I think I should take, what I think I should leave, that sort of thing. And I know that's not interesting to everybody, but it is interesting to, well, apparently most of you who took the poll anyway. So there you go. All right. What am I doing? I need to, can I, oh, you know what we can do? We can make another mod with this. Um, also, the reason I couldn't fit these in the last episode because I was trying to put them on light armor. You don't need the, they don't work on light armor. So that needs to be in the forge. So let's make that right now. And then we should be able to combine it with the one that we already have and make it a tier two. All right, tier two is going to give us a 4% increase in running. So we're we're moving up, slowly but surely. Beautiful. Okay, so we took care of that. Um, I've got a couple other things that I need to figure out what to do with. We'll test the... Well, I, I'm not going to do anything with this lantern and, and, until you guys, and especially, you know, the one that left that comment, explains to me how I'm supposed to use that for gardening. Legitimately. If it's a cheese thing, I'm not doing it. Uh, okay, so uh, let me let me get a couple other things taken care of, and then we'll uh, then we'll proceed. Okay, guys, I just I just realized that I was incorrect about it insta curing the break. It it actually didn't. Um, so I still and I I wasn't paying attention until I started to sprint. And my guy did the little grunt. So yeah, it it doesn't insta cure the break, but it does insta cure the sprain. So. I now sit corrected because I'm, you know, sitting in my chair. 
Oh my god, how did that thing burn down so fast? <laughs> I have only been like away for five minutes. Holy shit. Okay, well, we'll st we're still going through it and finishing it out, but I want to go to the trader first because I need water for one thing. And we'll also take a look at these um, uh, injections and see if I can exchange them for other types. And I got, Oh, man, I got to do some repairing over here, too. Uh, all right, let's do an ammo trade first. Oh, that's the other thing. I was it was suggested to me that when I get um when I get the ammo crafting packs, you know that you get from boss drops, that what I should do is get the 9 mil instead because it gives me more cartridges and then I can instead make, you know, um 762s. Uh so that was a very good tip. So we'll be doing that the next time that happens. Okay, so let's see. That's just trading one blueprint for the other. This is what we actually want. Um. Oh, so it, okay. The exchange rate is twenty-five blueprints per DNA boost. So. Oh, where's my? You have them. Oh, I must have left my Charisma ones back at the base. Okay, so let's look at this then. Can I... Uh, can I trade... What type of blueprint do you want in return? I want... Charisma. For that type... They'll give me 125. Now, is this a smart thing for me to be doing? I guess that's the next question. Let, here, let's look at this again. Oops, sorry. We would need seven because they give 10%. So we would need seven. It's not going to, yeah, we can't, it's not going to work. I mean, it'll get us closer, but it's not going to get us there. So I think, I think we should probably wait until, you know, we, we get closer, like with another airdrop before we consider doing this. Um, but the other thing we need to think about right now is, uh, well, look at that. We just hit dexterity level six. Uh, we need to buy these it is spending some of our money on some actual genetic books. So let's go over here first and put a couple things in the shredder or this thing specifically. Um, I'm just trying to think, if, if I did decide to just go do the fucking mission, how much is that going to cost uh, for the tabletop stove? It's going to cost me a little over 2000 Okay. It might be it might be fun to do it just to do it, too, you know, experience it, I suppose. That's another thing. I thought one of you told me in the comments that the tabletop mission is not as bad as the distiller, <laughs> but the, the distiller mission was like doubly bad for me because we got a horde on top of the normal thing um okay so let's see we currently have sixteen thousand eight hundred and thirteen dollar make you um so what should we put some stuff into one of you guys recommended um mother load so we get more from mining not a bad suggestion except for the fact that you know i don't have too much trouble getting stuff from mining it's the brass that is always the pain in the ass, right? For the, um, uh, for the ammo. So we currently are, okay, we're level two strength, level six dexterity, level four constitution. So, uh, yeah, and level two intelligence. What if we bumped this up? Uh, no, we have to be level four. Okay, so that's the thing I want to pay attention to. I don't want to buy a book that I can't use right now. 
You have a slim chance to find better loot. 5% to loot bonus. Yeah. Not worth it. Um, okay, so we should be considering healing factor level 2. Um, gain additional one life every minute. Critical injuries heal 40% faster. Infections and radiation poisoning spread 40% slower. Quick heal can use sewing kits, splints, painkiller. Oh, God damn it. I always forget to use quick heal, too. I got to train myself to do that. Okay, that's pretty good. We could get two levels of pack mule because we're level four. And that would open up six slots. And move us up to, you know, some of this better stuff. Oh, that's that's pretty damn useful. I can get to my inventory from 50 meters away like the bike, and we wouldn't have to go back out and offload. That uh, That's super handy. Okay, let's keep that one in mind. Um, we could buy three books in Dexterity. What's level three in Cardio? Stamina is 50% when sprinting, can walk 7.5% faster. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, parkour... Reduce stamina cost of jumping, jump 20% higher, safe fall distance. Jump 30% higher if we got all the way to Fumbler. And then if we went into Strength, we could buy one book in Strength. Melee and Tool Stamina use is reduced by 1.5%. Power Attacks by 2.5%. 69er is just going to give us more block damage. And Mother Load, of course, is going to give us more harvesting. Decisions, decisions. So Pack Mule's books are cheap. Oh, you know what? Did I look at Iron Gut? Let's look at that. I didn't. What does this do? Chance of dysentery is reduced. Buffs from consumables last longer. Food and water loss from exertion is reduced. And hold your breath. Big whoopee on the hold your breath thing. The rest of those are, are pretty damned useful, though. Um, so we could get up to two. So 10% longer on the buffs and the food and water loss is big. Uh, boy, it's just hard to decide. I, I mean, we kind of need all of them, you know? It's just a matter of prioritization. It would be nice not to run out of stamina as, as quickly as we do. Let's buy a cardio book. And let's buy another cardio book. And let's buy a pack meal book. Alright, and then I should be able to do two pack meal books, right? Let's read this one. And let's read these two. Okay, that's unlocked at level three. We have level six. That's unlocked at level two. Okay, let's buy another pack mule. It's kind of funny. I would never consider pack mule and vanilla, but this isn't vanilla. Okay, so we'll read that one. That leaves us with 6,000 coin. Let's just buy another cardio book. And then I'll have almost enough money for the mine shaft, and, you know, of course we can raise more quite easily. So we're going to buy another cardio book. Okay. So now we are at uh, level 3 cardio. Stamina regens by 15% when sprinting, and we can walk 7.5% faster. You know, plus, look, yeah, look how quick we're moving now. Plus we have, you know, our 10% from our Walkman, and we have the mod that gave us a 4%. So we can move pretty, pretty quickly. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, so when we hit level 30, I'm coming back here, and I'm buying this. And then we can I'm assuming we set this down and it just mines for us automatically. I'm assuming. Kind of like, you know, Undead Legacy has resource extractors too. That My guess is that that's what this will do. Very good. And yeah, I think I'm going to sit on my genetic thingy-madoodles until we get closer to 
level two in charismatic uh, or in charisma so we can get charismatic nature. Um, and that's what we're going to do. Okay. So, sorry that took so long, but, you know, this is... This is the first time I've done this kind of thing, and I had to kind of think it through, and so there you go. Now, let's go back to this place and finish it off. Okay, there's 21 enemies left, and they're still out and about, too. Why don't we also take this? Resume. Man, when we pop a red tea, we're going to really scooch. But I have five of them, but I can't make uh, I can't make them until we get um, another tabletop. I mean, I can, but I can't sustain them. Okay, let's deal with this guy. Hey, you know what? Did he just rebirth? I think he just rebirthed. Either that or I just plain didn't kill him. Okay, now, stay down. Okay. Okay, Nick, stay here for a sec. I don't want you getting beat up too much. Alright, now, do we have buffer Zeeks? Still. They, we gotta prioritize them. I see three yellow dots. It says there's estimated 12 left, though. Why is that guy derping so much? All right, he's down. Oh, <laughs> no, he's not. I wonder how much of that is me thinking they're down versus rebirth. You gonna stay down? Okay. Uh, all right. We got a biker up there. Can rebirths happen if uh, you behead them? We can, I can really tell the difference for how fast we can move now. It's nice. Okay, we got a double proc here. All right, 
Looks like they're both gonna stay down. He's down. All right, Nick. Oh. He's getting beat up pretty good. Oh, this is actually a tier four house. No wonder it's so fucking hard. <laughs> I mean, everything's been like feral, if not worse, right? Um. Uh, nope, don't do that. Kind of hard on the knuckles. Let's grab this. Alright, let's go. Let's go up. It's so weird seeing this house like this, you know, with it partially destroyed. Alright, those guys must be down in the Oh there we go. Okay, he's dead. Ah it says there's one left. Estimate. that probably down below somewhere okay now I know where I'm at there's a table saw some medical there's another Kim bench nice not that we really need it Um, I'm going to pick up these body bags because we're going to need them to make the explosion resistant uh, concrete blocks. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Here, let's do this. Check all these Kim benches. There's some testosterone. Yeah, so let's pick up the body bags. Bullets in the mortician's drawer. God, look at all those bullets. Damn. I'll take him. Uh, looks like there's a weapons bag in there. Oh, nope, never mind. Not a weapons bag. And we'll pick these up here. Yeah, I think what you have to do is get the explosion-resistant zombo heads and the body bags and you combine them together in the mortar and pestle maybe to make the explosion resistance powder which you then use to make the explosion resistant concrete blocks which we're going to need for seekers uh oh that yeah that's what uh, I, I was trying to say earlier um, somebody suggested that i put those around the base of the tower uh and that is definitely the plan because we're, we're going to need to do that when the time comes but yeah, good place to come and find body bags. Nice. Because, you know, it's normal to pick up a body bag with a corpse in it and just stick it in your pocket. I mean, everybody does that, right? Am I right? Okay, we still have one more enemy somewhere. Uh, okay, no, I'm not going to repair that. All right, let's get the... Muckety muck. Now, do we get uh, stuff from here? Yeah, just normal stuff. Nothing special. Uh, 
There's another lantern. This is a, a different colored lantern. That probably doesn't matter, but... Yeah, see, it's not lit. How much are these worth? Uh, no, uh, oh no, 17, okay. Yeah, so they're worth selling, if nothing else, I guess. Uh, nothing to loot down here. Will this give me brass? Let's take it and see if we can put it in the shredder. Because it certainly looks like a brass candlestick to me. Brass candles, candelabra. Candlestick holder. Uh, all right, let's go this way. Okay, there's the main loot. We'll come back for that in a second. I want to know where this last Zeke is. There's some brass. Isn't there supposed to be spikes in here? Right, we have to dig our way out up there. This looks like a motorcycle wheel. Get the brass from this. Two anvils. More brass, good, good. And we'll get this brass too. And as always, I need to remember to be breaking doors for brass handles. Which I don't always remember to do. I, not, uh, this one I don't think will work. It needs to be one with an actual yeah, brass handle on it. Okay, well let's do the loot and then we'll see if we can figure out where this last zombo is. Okay, some food. Big ammo thingy. I'll take it. A chamois box. And a cracker book. Give us some schematics, man. Beautiful. Okay, let's open this up. Oh, that's a new one. I haven't seen that one yet. And look at that. Okay, let's put our cursor right here. A little more that way. Huzzah! Look at that. I like that lock. I like it. it. It looks cool, but I can also see the damn thing, too. All right, almost 400 cash, and yeah, pretty good stuff overall. Okay. You have room in your inventory, bro? A little bit. Let's do that, and we'll just put whatever in there. So having, you know, the extra pack mule and being able to walk faster is nice. Just slightly, slight improvements over what we've had before. Let's check this garbage pile. Yeah, any chance that's a brass light? I don't think that is. I think that's just a normal sconce light. But it does sell for 17 so we'll hang on to it. And I think I'll leave that there. There's some lead. All right, is there anything else we're missing down here that we need to loot? I'm going to leave the light. Grab this light too. And I guess that's it for down here. This purse. For the purse pistol. You guys told me in the comments that uh, you have a very rare chance of finding an epic pistol in a toilet in this mod. And that. If I understood them right, they said that's the only epic firearm that, you know, all the all the other firearms max out at blue level. Uh, that needs to be repaired, so we're not messing with it. Okay, let's go to the uh, to the bike and drop off, and we'll also get the brass from the you know the doorknobs from. I don't think that... Yeah, those doors don't give it. Uh, 
Oh fuck, now we have a normal horde. Okay, is this a boss horde or just a normal massive wandering horde? Because if it's a boss horde, I'd like to try and fight him in our our little fort there. Uh, not fort, I'm sorry, little horde base that we made. Yeah, it, I, there, there's the boss right there. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's go... Of course, I'm encumbered right now. Let's go here and just quickly throw some stuff in here because I know they're coming at me, but i got to be able to move. Okay. I don't want to get too far away, though, either, but if... I hope that my, my horde base is in the same chunk. What I want to do before we get into the horde base is I want to kill you. Oh, fuck. Okay, we need repairs. Let's go back this direction so we stay in the same chunk. And then we'll repair this. I do have a repair kit on me. So we, we just got to kill a buffer. Dude, die already. Okay, I think he's down. I think he's down. Okay. Um, hopefully that blue bag stays there. You know what? This group is small enough. Well, nah, let's let's use the horde base. That's what it's for. I was gonna say I could probably just kill him out here, but we got the pig trying to soften up the boss for us, that's good. Alright, well I'll tell you what then, since that's happening, because the boss is the the one that moves the fastest. Kill the trash. Yeah, how do you like my AP ammo, armored motherfuckers? Doesn't do you a damn bit of good to be armored, does it? That was actually fortuitous that that pig showed up. Because it's not only distracting the boss, but it's softening her up for us, too. Did you rebirth? Right in the nuts. <laughs> God damn, that would hurt. <laughs> I mean, that would go. That would be beyond hurt. Just saying. Okay, so, wow, that pig's really doing a number on her. Let's take this opportunity to heal ourselves a bit. And I suppose I could just pop a red tea and kill her here. And that way we don't have to repair the base and we stay in the chunk. Maybe we'll do that. Okay. Let's take this asshole out first. Piggly Wiggly, go after the boss, not me. That fucking pig, man. Dude, it's weak. We can scoot along. I, I'm not even on red tea. Look how fast I'm moving. Okay. Resume. This pig is no longer our friend. All right, let's kill a boss. Look at that. Yes. And it's a charisma boost on top of that. Hell yeah. 
All right. Um, so based upon what you guys told me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go recipes and we're going to do nine millimeter because that'll give us more brass. I, I don't care about the bullets and the gunpowder so much. It's the brass that's the important thing, right? So let's craft this and then open it. Uh, yeah, it gave us 90 brass. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. One of the most useful tips I've had to date. Well, there's a lot of been a lot of really good useful tips, and I appreciate it from all of you guys. But that one, that one stands out because you know I, I'm just so hard up for brass right now, you know. Okay, we still have one more Zeke somewhere in this building we gotta kill. Is that it? Maybe that's the one. Let's see. Let's use a little melee. Zombie Charlotte. No, apparently she was not the one we need to kill. I hear I hear a zombie in here somewhere. Ah! Contaminated Zeke. You know what? If you're gonna be bugged, I might as well get some melee points. Alright, he's unstuck now. He dropped a blue bag for us. He's the radiation buffer. All right, cool. Still hear a zombo around here somewhere. Oh, right down there. Okay. It's not the one. Where the hell is this zombie at? We're normally... S there it is, right there. Ha ha! Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a landmark moment for us here in this mod because we just completed our first Tier 4 purge. Yay us. We got the shit beat out of us and we got killed. But, hey, this is Rebirth, so what else is new, right? Very nice. Is this thing worth anything? This hospital bed. $56 make you holla. That's worth something. Let's grab this bag here. Okay. And we got a boss kill out of the deal. And there's still more radiators and shit in this place. Okay, but I am, as you can see, super encumbered. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. I'm going to come back here, get all of the brass especially out of this place, and then go, you know, make a bunch of brass and uh, replenish my ammo supplies a little bit. And then when we start the next episode, I think we'll just go do another perch. We'll keep doing it because that's really what we need to do to advance in this mod. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.